Hey everybody, it's Oracle684 here, and I'm going to go ahead and compare the original 1974 Texas Chainsaw Massacre to its counterpart, the remake, the 2003 version. And as you know, remakes are very different from the original. We all know that if you guys, you know, pretty much know the formula, they change stuff up. This has got some very big changes with the remake compared to the original. We do not have uh, the Sawyer family in the Tex Chainsaw Massacre remake. They are the Hewitt family. So that's a little something, a little, little uh, different. The group of kids uh, that uh, Leatherface and his family uh, terrorize and torture and whatnot are different. You don't have a Sally Hardesty. Jessica Beale is pretty much the Sally Hardesty in the 2003 remake. Uh, you don't you don't have a Kirk, you don't have a Jerry, you don't have a Franklin, um, you don't have a hitchhiker. Uh, you have something like that's similar to like a hitchhiker. It's it's a girl. It's one of the uh, main victims that did get away that they pick up. That's kind of an homage to the original film, but um, of course you know something very tragic happens to that uh, individual, to the individual inside their van and. Uh, it's just, it, it, it's wild. Um, again, I'll say that there's, there, there's similarities uh, for uh, the R.E. Uh, Emery a character, Sheriff White, which technically he's not the sheriff. You'll find it out in uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre in the beginning. Um, he kind of resembles maybe the cook from the original film. But I think uh, between both, and both films were kind of scary. I think the original was more scarier because you know it was in, it was in a different time, you know, a different decade, seventies, early seventies to be exact, and then uh, the remake being in two thousand three, the early two thousands. So uh, you know, of course, you know, with the original, they were able to get get away with a lot more stuff than now what they could do with the uh, remake in two thousand three because it, it was two different decades. Uh, I would think, you know, R. R. E. Emery's character in the remake, and even in uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning, I, I thought he was more scarier than uh, Andrew Bernarski's Leatherface. Uh, I just, he, he has that personality, I mean, he can talk, uh, just foul mouth this, that way, and... Uh, just some of the some of the stuff that he just mentally does to these kids in the uh, in the remake is just unbelievable. And you know, of course, uh, Emery was a real life drill sergeant, uh, from what I've heard, and it it does it it, it does pay off of what he does in the in the film because I mean, man, you actually he had he actually had you know, I actually had like goosebumps just some of the stuff that he was just saying and stuff like this and that and it's like wow you didn't get that with the cook in the original film I mean uh, of course he was kind of you know uh, he wasn't foul mouthed or anything like that but he was just very 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 strange very very wacky uh, definitely scary at the same time psychotic I would probably say um, now Leatherface in, in the original that was freaky. I'll admit that that was very, very freaky. Uh, Andrew Bernarski's lot of face in in uh, in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2003. I wouldn't say he was all that frightening. Like I said, Sheriff Hoyt, uh, Ari Emery's character, was a lot more intimidating, a lot more menacing than uh, Leatherface was. Uh, that's just my opinion. Um. I think uh, the best jump scare would have to be in the original with uh, Franklin's death. Uh, that I didn't see that coming uh, out in the dark, and they're, you know Sally and Franklin are moving through the dark. She's pushing Franklin because he's in a wheelchair, and uh, it's so dark out there. Franklin's holding a flashlight, shooting it in this direction, that direction. All of a sudden, he shoots it in one direction when they stop, and all of a sudden, here comes Leatherface with the chainsaw and gets him and. And all hell breaks loose there. That's just, it's, you know, I actually talked to a friend of mine, which did you like better, the 2003 or uh, the 
1974 film. He said the 1974 film. Now, I have to agree on that. 1974 film was pretty, uh, pretty terrifying. It, it, it was good. I mean, you'll never see another film like it. Uh, even on set with the, uh, when they're at that, when they're at the, uh, Sawyer house, the conditions in there were so terrible. It was just amazing how they were even able to film in that type of environment. Uh, like with, uh, the remake, they didn't go for those different types of conditioning that I know of. So, uh, the characters between both films, I like, let, 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 let's just put it this way. I like, if I if somebody had asked me which one did you, would you watch more of, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre or the remake from 2003, I know a lot of people will probably be thinking, I'm thinking, you know, Oracle, you're kind of crazy for saying it, but I actually, you know, would prefer the uh, remake over the original, and I'm going to tell you why. Because with Jessica Biel's character, and it, her, her character, I can't remember what the character, her character's name was, they did not torture her physically or mentally like they did Marilyn Burns' character of Sally Hardesty in the original film. Just watching the original film, that just gets to me every single time. I just, you know, here she is, and then, you know, you have the, the, the grandpa character. I don't know if the guy in the wheelchair in the original was supposed to be the grandpa. The guy in the wheelchair that has his legs cut off, or amputated, whatever you want to call it, um... I don't know if he was supposed to play the role as the grandpa character from the original film. Uh, of course, you didn't. You know, you didn't really get to see the scene with uh, where they have uh, Grandpa Whacker, 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 and stuff like that. And you know, like you had in the original. But I know there's like a there was a scene in Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning with that with, the, with Jordan Brewster's character in there, I believe. But uh, yeah, I, they toned Texas Chainsaw Call the remake down a little bit because uh, who knows what the reasonings were for or what, what Marcus Snipple's direction was with that. But I can watch the remake more than I could watch the original because the whole thing with Sally being the only one left alive and the, all the things that, things that the Sawyer family were doing to her was just, oh, it was terrible. It was just, you know, it felt like your hair was standing straight up. I mean that's how so real it looked so real it felt uh, to me. And the only thing that came close to that would be probably the uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween one with the uh, I don't know what they call them the guards or whatever at the at Smith's Grove when they uh, take that female patient and they rape her in uh, Michael's uh, room and he's sitting at the uh, table in his room and it, that just felt so real. I mean it was just something just get to me like that way but for part of for uh, the remake you know this is not my favorite franchise by any means but I, I really liked the uh, the remake more than the uh, original film um, that's just I mean that's my opinion um, for those of you who don't know when they say it's when they say this movie was based on true events uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre didn't happen. They're basing it off the Ed Gein story. Uh, because Ed Gein killed his victims and he would uh, peel off their skin and so on. Pretty gross stuff. So that's, you know, Leatherface's whole thing was, was he was going to, um, his mask is made out of human flesh. So that's that. Plus cannibal. Cannibalistic family. We should say it that way. Um... With the uh, original film, the thing that I I probably liked the most is that it was set in the 70s. I thought that was really, really cool because this is pretty much uh, one of the mainstream slashers. Because we, I mean, if you want to count Psycho from 1960, I believe, that was pretty much the first modern day slasher, but it was more of a thriller. Um, 
but when you get to 1974 with Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original, uh, it basically is. A lot of people credit Halloween being the first slasher. That's not necessarily true. If you if you look at uh, Texas Chainsaw and uh, Psycho, so, but yeah, you know, my my thing is to sum it all up. My conclusion is that. They were both great, uh, both Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1974 and Texas Chainsaw Massacre nine, uh, 2003 were pretty good films. I mean, they were, you know, graphic, awesome, but hands down, the one I prefer the most would be the 2003 version because it's, it, it's toned down. You don't got that torture scene that the original had with uh, Sally Hardesty in the film and whatnot but I mean you gotta you, you gotta make something different you gotta tune it up different you can't have it be a carbon copy of the original film so you know sometimes I can handle certain certain uh, certain scenes other times you know enough is too much too much but Texas Chainsaw Massacre to uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1974 was definitely one of those ones that really got me you know really really uh, uh how, how would I <laughs> describe it? On the edge of my seat with uh, what they did with uh, Sally Hardesty in the film. Um, but other than that, I mean, that is it. That's the comparison. Uh, I, I, I think some of the... Uh, I think the kills... I think the kills in... Uh, the remake were a little bit more graphic than what he had in the original, too. Because, you know... I think the only one that was really graphic was uh, the Kirk kill with the sledgehammer to the head. That was pretty graphic. Uh, but other other than that, I think uh, 2003 had more of the graphic kills. It's just kind of weird how how they can actually get away with doing this, doing that, and uh, with uh, certain things with the MPBA, MPAA. Uh, it's just it's 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 really strange because uh, 